A little over three years ago, I showed you how to get wax out of the bottom of your favorite candles, and that video has been viewed 1.3 million times. That is crazy. So I thought, why not make a follow-up video that shows ways to repurpose not only your favorite candles that you just depotted, but any glass jar you may have around the house. Now as for supplies, you'll just need to grab anything like a salsa jar, pasta sauce jar, old candles, pickle jars work great too. Then you'll want to grab any supplies that you want to fill them with or decorate the outside of them with. And don't worry, I'll give you some ideas in this video. So let's start off with the candles. I'm using the same method I demonstrated in my previous video to get the wax out of the bottom of the jar, letting them cool, and then popping out the old wax. For the first DIY inspiration, I'm going to be planting these super cute succulents I found at my local hardware store into the old candle jars. Now I chose candle jars that were already colored and pretty and exactly how I wanted them, but you could easily paint the outside of the glass to fit your current style. I think they turned out so cute and it was so simple, but I didn't really like how you could see the dirt on the top right here. And I was like, man, I wish I had some colorful rocks or sand. And since we can't run out to the store right now, it got me thinking, I have a whole backyard filled with rocks. So I went on the hunt for these little small rocks, but then they weren't really the color I was going for. I painted them with white and gray chalk paint. It turned out awesome. I think these look so great. Give this video a thumbs up if you think they're cute too. Something else I did with another candle was paint stripes of white and gold and bronzy gold up the sides of the jar coming from the bottom. And then I put a few tea lights in and I put three so it would have that little extra sparkle. It's so pretty, especially at night. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I know I keep saying everything's great, but it is. Another fun way to use a candle jar is what we call the boredom buster. Here you can see my daughter cutting out movie titles because her and her brother could not decide what to watch. So I had her decorate a jar, cut out the little labels, and we let the jar do all of the deciding for us. Sometimes we even use this jar to help us decide like what board game or activity to do. It has really helped eliminate all the arguments. This next repurposed jar is a two-in-one DIY. I started off by cutting covering the lid with hot gluing twine to the top of it. This not only covered the top, but gave it more of a rustic vibe. And then to make the shower melts that go inside, I'll link to the recipe I used down below, but I can't say that it was my favorite and you'll see why. I put my favorite essential oils in it though, so they smell fantastic. Filled up our trays and had them sit overnight to set and dry up. My melts didn't come out very pretty, but they smell fantastic and they melt perfect in the shower and they just fill the bathroom with chill spa vibes and that's all I can ask for. Plus the container is now super cute and I can keep it out on the counter. Now this next project here is something I'm really excited about because I am totally into like terrazzo everything right now and you could easily turn this into a little container for various little objects. I started off by painting the inside of the glass with just random different size dots and squares and just blobs. You can see here I have three different shades of blush paint out on my little palette and I just kind of rotated between each of the brushes so it started to look like this. Looks really speckly like it's got chicken pox. But you could do this with any color combination. To finish off the look, I just rolled around a little bit of white matte chalk paint and covered all of the inside and let it dry. I did hold it for a while so I could rotate it and the paint wouldn't like bunch up in a certain area more than another. And yeah, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. This next inspo is probably my favorite. I used a pink Bath and Body Works candle jar. I originally drew on some lashes with a Sharpie marker, but it wasn't enough. I decided to stick on an old pair of lashes, giving the jar a more 3D look. I had done this with another jar I had out on my counter and just thought it was so perfect to have them both together now. And last but not least for the candles, I still use my original jars for my cotton swabs and cotton rounds. 
Okay, so now let's talk about a couple of my favorite ways to use pasta sauce jars. We buy a lot of Classico, so that's the shape I have is the Atlas Mason jars, but it is just the regular Classico pasta sauce. But one of my first favorite ways to use the jars is to store chocolate chips. I am a chocolate freak. You know I love chocolate. It had to be in this video somewhere <laughs> but I like to keep them in the fridge and I like to keep them fresh because we don't use the whole bag every single time I use them and these were just the mini chips but I have another jar for the regular full-size chips too. After storing away the chocolate chips it got me thinking maybe I could put my M&Ms in here and I pretty much always have some on hand for you know that time of month but I need to hide them so I got creative and I put an old like pretty sock on the jar and nobody suspects what is inside and I can hide it in plain sight. I also really like to use the jars for storing my cold brew or iced coffee in the fridge that way it stays super fresh and I really liked how this looks like a rustic penny. I painted it with some liquid gold paint and then just dry brushed on a matte brown shade and I love how this turned out. The kids and I just started juicing too so we needed to find a way to store it in the fridge to keep it fresh. Why not in one of these? This next inspo is actually one I have shared on my channel before. It is using the jars for protein shakes. It is the perfect size and it's glass, it's sustainable and super cute. This next jar is called our Happy Notes jar. So we came up with the idea, actually my daughter did, that if somebody had something good or positive happen throughout their day, they would write it down on a piece of paper and put it in this jar. So I painted it with things that made me happy, little bumblebees and butterflies and flowers, and I just had some fun with it. No particular method or anything that I followed. And yeah, so we're filling it up with joy. Uh, we're going to open it up maybe when we're having like a really bad day or maybe we'll just save it and open it up towards the end of the year. We're not exactly sure. We're kind of feeling it out. But yeah, it was a lot of fun just sitting down and painting it. I did the top just like I did the other jar for the shower melts. And this is our Happy Notes jar. This next sauce jar is actually from an organic line I got at Sprouts. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's like a more bulbous round one. I glued a little bit of twine to the top of it and put in these little twinkle uh, little fairy lights and put it in their glass of Oz that we have on the counter. And it looks so pretty. I love things that light up and are illuminated like this. This next project doesn't have the best picture, but I did it over the holidays and almost forgot about it. I took these little sauce jars and salsa jars, kind of like coated them in Mod Podge, rolled them in Epsom salt, and did a little bit of details on the top. I put a tea light candle in them and they looked so good as a centerpiece on the table or as decor throughout the house. Super easy, super inexpensive, and it looks way prettier than in this picture, I promise. Speaking of salsa jars, I also like to use them as little vases for the roses that we cut off our bushes out back. They are blooming lately and they are so pretty and this is just the perfect size for their stems. This next one, Logan actually got it in on the jar decorating action and he painted this little jellyfish to store our fish food in. And it is a salsa jar that we use and we just store it right back here next to the fish tank and it's super cute. I also really like to use painted salsa jars as like pen holders or like paintbrush holders. It keeps it all organized. This next DIY I realized was actually a mason jar and not like a salsa jar or anything like that. But either way, you could easily use like a salsa jar for this or like a sauce jar. I'm just filling it up with some Epsom salt, putting a couple drops of food coloring of your choice. You could totally skip that part, but I just thought it was for fun. And then putting several drops of your favorite essential oils. I put in three different ones, but you could do just one or five whatever you like topping it off with the rest of the epsom salt and then giving it a good old shaking up look at how cool that looks you could throw a bow on it give it as a gift for mother's day or a holiday or a birthday um, keep it for yourself as like a foot soak you could use it as like a bath soak and actually take a bath bath with it and it's special because you could totally customize it with the fragrances, the colors, and it's something you did yourself. 
and I may have saved the best for last. This is our last inspiration of this particular video and it is maybe, maybe my favorite. And it was so beyond easy. All I did was paint three of those Starbucks like iced coffee drinks with white matte chalk pink. Tied a little bow with some twine, picked up a couple of little sprigs of lavender from Joanne Fabrics or you could get it from anywhere that has faux flowers or even real ones. And it is so precious. I am super excited with how this project turned out, but I'm going to turn it over to you. I want to see your creations. What are you creating with the salsa jars, pasta sauce jars, apparently Starbucks cups, or even mason jars? Whatever glass that you can repurpose in your life, I want to see what you're doing with it. So tag me at SparkleMePink8 on Instagram. I cannot wait to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching this. Share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it and I look forward to talking to you in an upcoming video. Bye!